And my biggest thing is right here in the findings. Right. Um, because I had very, very, very minimal bits of almost nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I like really started going into it and started talking about it. So I kind of like introduced what um, my findings were in that first paragraph. And then I pretty much go into like the first question that I asked that raised um, interesting responses uh -huh. um, and kind of just went into those. And I pretty much said like, it's important to see that there's about a 50-50 split between no's and maybe's. Uh -huh. This can show that there may be a lack of education of what exemption types are included and how they can affect others, although they may have gotten the vaccines for certain diseases. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I pretty much went in and put the chart, and then I said the major, the ma the majors that voted no, I said what they were, because I think that kind of has like an I like it gives you a general idea of mm -hmm. like these majors think this way and other majors do not. Mm -hmm. How can we look at that and think, hmm, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Um, and also with the responses for. Like I put in with the within those responses of no's, there were six participants that that had immediate family, and while the other three did not. Okay. I thought that was important to kind of because looking at it is like, oh well, maybe why does that correlate? Like, does that correlate with them having family members in this field? Does it not because they're because back to my original. Um, topic, there was a 50-50 between um, members in their family, like being in the medical field and then 50 that weren't. So I thought that was kind of interesting to tie that all in together and make it kind of flow with what I first stated. Yeah, definitely. So I think, um, yeah, I think you're absolutely heading in the right direction here. Um, and I like that you, you've kind of added that information before and after. I think what I, I there's two other things I would do here. One okay. is I would add another sentence or two at the end of that paragraph that gives us some kind of comment on what this means. So you're doing a really nice job of stating, like, you know, we're kind of seeing these differences. We're kind of seeing different majors line up, medical field, not medical field, like something that kind of says, what do we, what do we do with that? <laughs> like, what, what does yeah. this mean to you? So like, after looking at that, that kind of just, it means that, um, cause the maybe is, this was what was interesting to me. There was some nursing majors that said maybe. Okay. There was, but mostly, well, actually one, two, there's three that were, are technically in the medical field who said maybe. Okay. And then because of the nursing biochem, because biochem can go with um, med, like um, pre-med mm -hmm. much, and then respiratory therapy. And why is that interesting to you? Pretty much because in my opinion, I think medical field, well, medical based people should kind of look more into that and think, hmm, what does this mean to us as medical professionals and what could this do to our career in terms of what types of patients we see? Mm -hmm. So you might want to add something in there that says something to the effect of, you know, um, these results were a little surprising, um, you know, because you were expecting the people in the medical field to be really uh, in favor of vaccinations. And so that's showing that you kind yeah. of had this hypothesis, right? That people in the medical field would have this view on it that I do, that I share as a nursing major, as someone who's going into the medical field and who has someone in their family who is in the medical field as of right now. So, right. But it looks like maybe that might not be the case for everyone. Yeah. Which, and, the, and that matters because that might then imp like kind of influence the sort of recommendation yeah. you make at the end of all this, right? Yeah. So I'm pretty, so I think what I'm going to say, because 